Mr. President, this chart here appeared in last week's New Yorker magazine. I think it's pretty evident what it shows. And the pictures portrayed here, of course, are obviously caricatures of very rich people. Top hats, vests, cigars. But Mr. President, for me, this does not portray uh, people who are rich as much as what's going on with our Republican colleagues. We know all that's been said about the 1%, how well they're doing. CBO reported last week, during the last 25 years, their percentage of the wealth in America has gone up almost 300%. So there will be a lot of attention focused on the rich, as it should be. But also, Mr. President, I think it should be directed to the Republicans here in the Senate. Not to Republicans around the country, but are in this Senate. Because Republicans around the country don't agree. They don't agree things are just fine. They don't agree that we should left, leave well enough alone. They don't agree that just because what's going on with the rich, that things are okay precisely the way they are. The vast majority of Americans disagree with that. It's true that for a few lucky Americans, things in this country are going just fine. The haves have never had more. And my colleagues in the Republican Party here in the Senate are singularly focused on making it sure it stays that way. Everything on this chart applies to what's happened here in the Senate the last 10, 11 months. The gap between the haves and the have-nots has never been bigger. And the middle class is falling farther and farther behind. That's why while Republicans advocate for millionaires and billionaires, Democrats are looking out for working Americans. We've not forgotten that 14 million people are still out of work, or that millions more are struggling to make ends meet. We've not stopped fighting to create good-paying American jobs. That's why Democrats will introduce the Rebuild America Jobs Act tonight, legislation that will create hundreds of thousands of jobs by investing in our nation's crumbling infrastructure. Since the economic downturn began, more than 2 million construction workers have lost their jobs. 2 million. We'll also invest $10 billion to create an infrastructure bank that would leverage private and public capital to fund a wide range of long delayed projects. And we'll do all this without adding a penny to the deficit. Instead, it would require millionaires and billionaires to contribute their fair share. Incomes netting over a million dollars. They would be asked to pay a surcharge of less than 1%, 7 tenths of 1% to be exact get this nation's economy back on track. Americans overwhelmingly support Democrats' plan to invest in roadways, runways, railways. 72% of the American people agree. While Democrats fight for jobs for the middle class, Republicans fight for tax breaks for the 1% of Americans who don't need our help. <clears throat> and I'll bet if you could uh, ask these very, very rich people, would you be willing to give seven-tenths of one percent more to create millions of jobs? I think most of them say yes.